Are you kidding me right now? All right, baby, we're on. What time is it? 2.33. Are you okay. kidding okay. me right now? It's like, it's fine. No, 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 no. What no. time did you tell me? Okay. What time did you tell? Oh, here we go. All right, uh, we're coming in hot today because no, okay, because I, no, I said one thirty Central Standard Time. No, you're Central not Central Standard, Standard Time. Time. <laughs> Central Standard okay. Time. Okay. First of all, oh no. First of all, here, let me go through the timeline with you, you fat fuck. At one forty-five, you butt dialed me. At one fifty, I called you back because I figured if you were meaning to call me, you'd call me back. So I get no answer. One fifty-five. 155 now let's mark that number down you call me from bucky's and you say i'm at bucky's i'll call you back when i'm done and we'll get this started right. 215 i call you because it's 20 minutes later i figure oh he's just he's just like stuffing his face in the car right now i'll 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 you know i'm not gonna wait for him to finish all of his food because he you Probably bought a lot of food. It'd probably take a long time. You answer. You're still in Bucky's. It's noisy as fuck. 233, you're calling me. So we're talking 30, 33, 35, almost 40, almost 40 minutes you were at Bucky's, you fat pig. Holy shit. Well, okay. 40 let me, minutes. Let me explain. And, okay, let me explain. Whoa, 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 whoa. But no, before you explain, originally you were like at like 12 something. You were like 12, 15. You're like, yeah, I'll. Call, we'll, we'll do this in an hour. So in an hour you, was when I got a butt dial to start all this off. And so like almost an hour later, here we are from that butt dial. Are you First off, you're assuming it was a butt dial. Did I ever say it was a butt dial? I, I called you to tell you. No, no, no. You I'm, called me. I'm going to incriminate myself. You Hold call, on. You called me. I answered. There was no, I, I heard nothing. And I, I hung up. Oh, I, did, I didn't hear you answer on my end. I called you this fucking guy it's and now we're in a dead air here we are i called you what oh this cocksucker you motherfucker oh my god i'm gonna kill this fucking guy are you there oh man you got you're you're in for an, oh my god he cut off he better not have hung up on me this is this is oh my god he better call me back I'm not I'm not redoing this podcast. We're just going to sit in dead air here. The people, this is what I got to deal with every fucking day with this clown. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Let's call him back cuz he's not calling me back. Cuz he went through and driving through another imaginary tunnel where we lose reception here. Nothing. This fucking guy. Unbelievable. Doesn't even ring through now. What's he doing? There we go. Please leave your message oh, for son of a bitch. Ah, uh, here we go. Oh my god, are you kidding no, me? No, I hung up on you. It was an accident. It was an accident. Are you kidding me right now? I left I'm leaving all that in. Because I I'm burying you. This is this <laughs> This is This is absolute I keep making exceptions. After I made the rule, we are never doing this again with you on the fucking move. You're going to have to be in a, You're going to have to be in a set location, whether it's a hotel, a fucking parking lot. I don't care, but you cannot be moving. This is this is we're done with this shit. Oh my god, you fat pig. 40 minutes. Well, let me tell you. Fit, like, okay, and I I called to tell you that it was going to be a little later, but I didn't think it would be this late. I, I got a little excited in Bucky's. I just spent seventy dollars in Bucky's. You fat seventy dollars. Can I people will understand as we talk about some other things later in this podcast? We are officially changing the name of this podcast from the furlough files to three simple words. You fat pig. Okay? That is the new name of this podcast. I am rebranding it starting with this episode. The, the fat fuck files. The, no, it's going to be called You Fat Pig. Welcome to episode number one of You Fat Pig, starring AJ Slambino here. All right, you fat pig. Get, right. Go explain yourself now. I, so I, okay, I got in there. I took a piss. And then I said, I'm going to get some meat. I have a headache. I haven't eaten all day. I've been driving. So I've been on the road for five hours. So I said, all right, let me go. I got 
the grilled cheese sandwich. It came with free French fries. Who doesn't like a free French fry? Definitely not then a French got egg. A, right. I got a chicken wrap, a chicken tender wrap. But then I saw they sell sausage that you can cook at home. I bought chicken cordon bleu link. I bought a jalapeno cheddar link. I bought a collage. You know what a collage is? It's meat and bread and cheese. I bought one of those. I bought a cinnamon, a cinnamon roll that's the size of my head. Uh, I got cinnamon covered almonds. I got an iced tea and beef jerky. I got Bohemian beef jerky. Seventy dollars. Seventy dollars. Well, I, at least we'll have content on Instagram this week. You fat pig. Jesus Christ. Right. I, yeah, I. Uh, I got excited. I'm sorry. I apologize once again. <laughs> I, I mean. <laughs> It's it's insane. I waited. What is it? From one fifty five to forty minutes. Forty forty minutes. Good you, thing you had nothing else to do today. You spent forty minutes in a gas station buying food. You, you fat I pig. Did. You fat pig. Oh, and I bought a Willie Nelson t shirt. I don't even know why. <laughs> I don't know why either. <laughs> like, yeah. What does it say on it? It's a 4th of July Willie Nelson t-shirt. <laughs> it's not even a weed reference. It's just a 4th of July one. No, it's his face. And he's like an American flag. And it's Willie's face with his sunglasses on. He was out the register. And I was like, oh, this is such an impulse buy. I was like, well placed. And the I'm, lady's like, she's like, she's like, yeah, you know, is there? And she's like, you ever had this sausage before? I was like, no. And then she's like, all right, well, the total is 70 It was $68. I was like, did I just spend $70 at Buffy's? Mm-hmm. Like, what happened? Mm-hmm. I came into peace. I'm just surprised they had a 3XL at the fucking counter. I got a 2XL. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> you Bottom fat of the pig. stack, you know. Oh, my God. Jesus Christ. So, but speaking of, this is, it's a perfect segue into what happened to me yesterday. Yeah. Well, perfect segue. Uh, I would say so. Yes, absolutely. Like I said, I knew that we were going to be talking about this other thing, which is absolutely into the theme of You Fat Pig the new name of our fucking podcast <laughs> yeah. number one we we did a right. hundred well, we did a hundred and some odd furlough files you're not even fur you haven't been furloughed since like episode four anyways so welcome <laughs> welcome ladies and gentlemen to the first episode of you fat pig all right go ahead Let's, <laughs> now this story you're joking this is a joke, right? No, no. I'm, no, it's listen, not at all. It, okay. I'm, uh, I'm already picturing the graphics. I'm going to go see what kind of cartoon pigs I can find on uh, Google image searches. Oh, uh, fuck. Here we go. Uh, now, this story, before we get into it, I regret us not recording this story like because yes, I, yeah. I was choking and crying, laughing so hard. And then I told you I didn't want to hear any follow-up to this. Right. Because oh, <laughs> I didn't want to hear any follow up until we do the podcast, because this is I knew this was going to be fucking gold and it's perfect for the first episode of you fat pig. So go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. My so, fat pig. Continue. So yesterday, yesterday <laughs> I, uh, you know, my boss was in town with his boss. Big busy. This is, we're talking like president, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like big, big boss. Right. Yeah. yeah. So we, uh, we walked a couple stores and, uh, I wore jeans yesterday, and I own one pair of jeans. They are my favorite jeans. I only own one pair. Uh, I don't like wearing jeans, but these jeans have been so good to me for the last like ten years that like I don't, you know, I don't ever want to have another pair. I mean, of jeans. in theory, if they're your only pair, don't they have to be your favorite pair? I mean, yeah, but <laughs> okay. Here's the thing. In that, I, I, I'm not kidding you. I've had these jeans for ten years, and in ten years, I've weighed. 270 and I've weighed 220. These jeans have been through it all, right? Yeah. They've been through, they've seen different belts, different loops, you know. Uh, but I I got in the car. They were a little tight yesterday, a little tight around the legs, a little tight around the ass, you know. They go below the belly. That's how fat I am. And uh, I get go to get in the car after leaving because my boss is like, uh, you know, we're going to go somewhere else. That was, was, the, was the whole day a struggle in them? So I couldn't breathe. Like if I like, I even went to the bathroom at one point, not to go to the bathroom, just to unloosen the belt and just unbuckle them for like a <laughs> solid five minutes because they were hurting so bad. So I I get in the car. We're leaving, and they're like, "All right, you know, we'll see you at the next spot." I'm like, "All right." I go to get in the car, and I put my right leg in, and all I hear is, 
I'm like, oh no, oh no. But now I'm sitting. <laughs> I got in. Like it was one swift motion. I went right in and I heard it. I'm like, oh shit! I ripped my pants. I look down and I'm wearing like, you know, I'm wearing uh, socks or grease or whatever you call them. And I look down and my balls are just right there on the seat, like they're literally on the seat. <laughs> now, because so wait, the you, hole is leg to leg. You you did like the the step in tear and sit down, and so you didn't get yes, you didn't go back out to assess the damage at all. I did not. I did <laughs> not get out to assess the damage. I sat down and I looked down. And they were my balls in my underwears, just chilling. And I'm like, oh, shit. Now, I can't tell from sitting, I know they're ripped left to right leg. Like, we're, we're, we're straight across. There's a nice pair. I can't tell how far we're ripped nuts to ass. Like, I don't know. Like, I don't know where, where we're at on that point. Right. I can't tell because I'm sitting down. Right. So I call you and I tell you what happened. And you're like, I'm like, you got to stop at a target, right? I'm, di- you're telling me yourself, I'm dying. Right? I'm like, well, because, yeah, you're like, I'm on the way to eat with my bosses. To dinner. We were going to yeah, dinner, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and I go, you can't go into a public restaurant with your balls hanging out of your pants. And and right. and all your underwear all showing and stuff like that. And I'm like, just dip into a target. And we are on the phone for a good right. t- 10 minutes. And I cannot, at some point, I think I stopped and I said, I can't believe we're we're having an argument about you n- n- finding something else to wear before going into the restaurant. Like, like I'm like begging you, right. go into a, dip into a Target. And you're like, I'm gonna be late. I'm gonna miss the food. You literally, in the theme of you fat pig, you literally said, I don't want to be late for the food and blah blah. I said, dude, call call the boss and say I ripped my pants. I'm dipping into a Target. So I'll be ten minutes late. Like you can't do this. And like no, I because I was afraid I would just like the appetizer or something. I don't know. Like, <laughs> you fat right. pig. You fat. And I didn't want to be late. Like right. well, and they were you know in front of me, so it wasn't like I was you know. Well, in the theme of of some of your some another issue you have about calling people and letting them know what's going on, whether it's me out of respect when you're going to be late, or Billy Fives after you challenge him to a wrestling match and then don't. And then you kayfabe him for six weeks, or uh, or this show you're supposed to be wrestling on this weekend that I don't think you've told anyone except on the podcast you're not doing. It. <laughs> now I'm telling you to just call your boss and tell him you d- like just tell him the truth. They'll all laugh about it. I rip, I'm I'm a fat pig. I rip my pants getting into the car. I'll be ten minutes late. I gotta get some sweatpants at Target. No, instead, I drove to Fox's Famous Barbecue. Oh, my God. And I get out of the car, and I park down the block. I, I park, and <laughs> I get out, and I, I finally get out to assess the situation now. Yeah. I get out, and it's, I mean, I'm, I'm torn to literal asshole to, like, <laughs> like actually where my dick is. So it, it's torn. So now I'm like, oh, shit, shit, shit. And so what else did I re- what else did I recommend that you could have done? I, a sweatshirt around, like I'm a female. Like, yeah, you I know. said pretend you got your period and tie a jacket around your waist and hide the fuck. Right. <laughs> so I get out, and now I parallel park in a neighborhood. So like that because this restaurant's in a neighborhood; it's been there forever. So I, there's no parking. You got to parallel park in the street. So now I'm in front of someone's house. Their door is open. Okay. So like. The door's open as, like, you know, they're coming in and out. They were doing some road work. So I'm parked in front, and I'm looking behind me in my, trying to look in my reflection in the window to see how bad the rip is, right? Because I, so I, I, I you're, you're sure. in a public street in front of someone's home. Their door is open. Right. There's activity going on, and you're, like, trying to, like, look at your own torn ass in, like, the window of your car in front of, like... Yeah. <laughs> And I'm trying to take a picture because I couldn't really see the reflection good. And I was like, because I'm too fat, I can't turn around really. Did, did so you, I was like, did you have a, do you have a picture? Am I going to get to see a picture of this? I, no, I couldn't, I couldn't get a good one, but <laughs> I could feel with my hand that we were pretty far up. So now I pull my shirt down. My shirt is a double XL, of course. So it's long. So I pull it down and it covers my ass part. So now I'm like, okay, I got the ass covered. At least to walk into the restaurant. Now, I got to figure out, is my dick going to be hanging out as I walk, right? So <laughs> I, I, I got a method where I took the, like, I just kind of tucked it up under and I like kind of like 
I walked like I had to take a shit. Like I was like shuffling almost. Wait, you, know? you did the tuck? So, you did the tuck? Of the pants. I took like the whole, I kind of like held it up there and I kind of like, I got it in there. And, uh, and, and, <laughs> okay. This, this could not have happened at a better time or spur of the moment. So I just took my hand, my phys- physically sitting in the car right now, I just took my hand to, as I was explaining to you, that I was tucking, I went to go put my hand in my crotch like I was showing you what I was doing, <laughs> and you'll, you'll never guess what I just realized. What? The basketball shorts I'm wearing have a hole in the crotch. <laughs> <laughs> you, and these are like my favorite Adidas shorts. You, I'm so fucking pig. It's you, two in two days. What the fuck? You fat pig. You're ripping all your clothes. You don't fit in anything. I, I have a hole. It, it's like I can put three fingers in there. <laughs> That's what she said. You fat! I cannot pig. believe this. Two in two days. Oh. I haven't ripped a pair of pants in years. Well, and now, anyway, and so uh, yeah. Well, so I shuffle on in into the place, and uh, I'm self conscious like anybody. See, I'm letting them walk in front of me. You know, I don't want to walk behind. So I sit down, and now like there's some a table directly, <laughs> so I have to keep my legs closed. Because if I open my legs, I mean it's cock and balls for everyone. So. Well, I mean, I, got my uh, I mean, you're wearing thing. underwear over them. I mean, it's not like, like, right, but still, like, who wants to see you eating a fucking, a, you know, a nice barbecue sausage? You don't want to see my sausage hanging out. Yeah, like. it's not, but it's not like there's gonna be a new like uh, sighting of the Ogo Pogo or something. You're, uh, you know, there's right, no, right. no no Sasquatch footage here. You're, you're still so, right. you're, you're still covered. You're just not covered with the right clothes. <laughs> right, okay, right, right, right. right. So I'm eating with my legs closed, like, you know, like super tight together. It looks like I have to pee or something. Uh, so we get through dinner, and I'm like, all right. So, you know, we say our goodbyes, and I shuffle back on out to my car. And uh, I go to get in the car. Again, the same move as earlier. The one leg swoop in and sit down, and they just fucking, they tore. They tore like I almost had two separate legs. Like, it, just, it literally ripped. Just ripped, right? They're, they're done. They're garbage. Did you throw them out, or do you still have them around? Just I didn't throw them out. Why would I throw them out? Because I mean, they could be salvaged, maybe. Well, uh, well, okay. I have done this many times in the past where I've like torn my pants while working, um, because like you'll, you know, uh, like when I was working construction or something, you'll take an awkward step, or you'll, or you'll, right. uh, or or a lot of times when I was jumping, you know, that big step into a truck, when you're getting into a truck or, or getting into the van, when I was working with Marco, I've torn them, but like, not, not like you, not like in completely where they're, they're obliterated. Um, you know, like a three yeah. or four inch tear and then I'll go home and I'll sew them because I'm like a capable human being. I know you're saving those pants, but I know that in no possible world are you sewing them back together. Like it's no, never, but I don't want to get rid of them. Well, what are you going to do? And they're tore from, like, now they're tore from, like, top of butt crack to crotch. Like, the whole back is wide open. It's like I'm wearing assless chaps. Yeah. Like, that's just, like, so, uh, I don't know. I got to figure it out. It was too soon to throw them away. I couldn't throw them away day one. I haven't problem solved this or thought about this yet. But, um, yeah, they're, they're, they're ripped, though. And the worst part is, uh, you know, Vandal's at my house. And when I got out of the car, when I got home, he filmed a video of me that he put some music to and DJ saw the video and was like, what's, what's wrong with like between your legs? I'm like, what? That's a, that's a, that's a longer, that's a longer story for another time. (laughs) Right. Right. Well, listen, what's that? So she knew it. And I said, I ripped my pants. She's like, Oh my God. She knew that there was, cause, and so I went back and watched the video. I'm like, Oh my God. Yeah. You definitely could tell. Cause it looks like there's something like string hanging down or something. And you can tell it's torn, but you can actually see it. Yeah. Yeah. So, and, and one would think that after that situation that I'd stop eating, but instead I spent $70 at Bucky. As, yeah. And, and I'm sure like, uh, with you got a company this weekend, uh, a couple of people staying at yeah. your place that, uh, that, you know, that's, that's not the end of your spending for today on food. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> It'd be bad. No. And it's a bad podcast. You don't even know, but I've been eating French fries. Oh my God. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, the, the, the other, 
uh, this kind of goes into the you're, you fat pig theme. But uh, the other thing we were talking about earlier uh, was that you are such a fat pig right now um, that this is helping confirm my theory that you do have the Kavorka. Because <laughs> no matter how fat you get, you still have like girls like hitting on you and stuff. And I'm like, unless they've all got like this like smother fetish where they want to be buried under 300 pounds of like just useless fat pig, uh, that there's some other magical thing at, at work. And the Kavorka, for those who don't know, is it's a Seinfeld reference uh, to uh, Kramer. Who has the, it's the like what was it the call of the animal or something? It's this yeah. it's like this uh, kind of like uh, gypsy mythological thing about uh, uh, you know him being irresistible to women and he can't help it he can't control it and whatever and I have seen the Kavorka in action on a few people in my life very few one was a a, a guy Johnny Veo who uh, was uh, a friend who I knew. Uh, who's been a band and did some other stuff. Uh, and you, uh, you don't have it as much as uh, Johnny did, but you've got it. And uh, I've watched it in action many times, but never when you were as unpresentable as you are right now. <laughs> oh, yeah. And, and it's funny because uh, talking about looking unpresentable, I, I took a picture with my boss and his boss yesterday. They were like, let's get a picture together. It's like I'll post it on LinkedIn. And he took the picture and they sent it to me. I didn't look at the picture until just now when I was in, in Bucky's. And I'm like, oh, my God, he cannot post this. I literally look, my stomach has, like, it just looks so gross on camera. It looks like I'm, I got a tire around my waist. I got, like, my boobs, my nipples are hard. I'm like, this cannot go on LinkedIn. I look like a fat, <laughs> your, your, like, gross fuck. Your nipples are hard? What the fuck? Yeah, it was cold in the office. And I had a tight, my shirt's so tight that... <laughs> But you can tell. I'm like, oh, I just they cannot post it. I, so I did a little cropping on mine that I got. I saved it and I cropped it and I cropped it from like my my belly button up. You can only see now. You can't see the below part. But you can still see the hard nipples. I was thinking maybe that yes. that uh, your nipples were hard. You ever you ever like try and get a dog to look at the camera, and it, you'll hold a. <laughs> <laughs> you hold a dog bone up or something. I thought yeah. maybe whoever's taking the picture had a donut or something. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I just that picture. Like, I don't even know if he posted it there. I really hope he didn't. I hope he forgets because it was embarrassing. How I I was like, oh my god, it looks so gross. You said yeah. that picture sounds like two guys uh, doing a make a wish or something for a homeless guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, yeah. And I have like this weird smile on my face, and my face is so fat. And I'm like. <laughs> This kid, this is this isn't a wake up call. I don't even know. And yet you, and yet you had a lady like flirting with you, like I don't know, to like yesterday or something. You were telling me about, and I'm like, I'm well, like well, she was like, she was like, oh, I love man buns, and I was like, ah, oh, mine's a little messy, and she's like, oh, I think it's cute, and I'm like thinking to myself, like, is she like shallow how? Because like, what the <laughs> yeah. like she's shallow how because. Like I maybe I look skinny to her, but I am not at all whatsoever. Skinny. That's a that's a great like, reference for a guy who never watches movies uh, to reference that movie. What oh, I've seen Shallow How. What did what did uh, Tony Robbins like hypnotized him into like uh, yes. not not seeing yeah. uh, the only seeing like the inner beauty, and so he thought this right, uh, right. Gwyneth, it was Quinnith Paltrow. He saw in, my inner beauty in that a, yesterday. That's what it was. Yeah, I, yeah, um, yeah. This, yeah. So I look I. I am. I don't even know where to start, when to start, how to start. But I just. I. I don't like. Like I usually don't care how I look. Seeing that picture today, I was like, "What the fuck?" Yeah. Like who is this? Yeah, man but I feel it's just like the Pillsbury Doughboy. Yeah, but I feel. I, I want to poke your stomach and see if you giggle. I wonder if. Right. Uh, I. But I. Every time we say this, it's like I feel like for the last like at least four weeks. It's like, well, that's the reality check. That's the reality check. That's the, uh, you yeah. know, and, and every time it's like, you're telling me the story and about how this is a reality check for you in between bites of pizza or something. It just doesn't. It, I'm, I'm actually chewing French fries. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. So uh, it, it's it's funny that like you you understand it. And, and, and brother, trust me, I'm not like, I'm not like a, a lean 150 uh, here over here talking to you, but I, 
but it, but I'm not where you are, and at least I can hang my hat on that. <laughs> I will say this though: in the past, when it's happened, we both would get on it, and and don't tell me you're because you two, you're all over the board. Like one day you're there, one day you're not. Like we, it's not. I think it's just like usually if you get on and you're on for, I'm like okay, I can't let him show me up. I can can explain mine though. Mine is, is all money based. Some it's feast or famine, uh, literally, but financially here, some weeks I've got money and some weeks I don't. And when I don't have money, I can't afford to eat good and on a diet. So until that situation straightens itself out, uh, I'm, I'm eating good when I have money. And then when I'm not, I'm eating all this food that immediately puts weight on me because, uh, it's cheaper. Uh, so that's me. You have no excuse. You're just a fat pig. Yeah, no, my excuse is you. You're my excuse. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's like, well, if Ben's if Ben's back to uh, eating like shit, then I don't have to worry about it as much. All right, I get it. Right. But, but uh, right, because I don't feel like if you start getting skinny, I'm like, no, 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 this can't happen. I have listen, to be skinny as well. Listen, one day I'm just going to buy a big freezer and put it in my garage and fill it with like deer meat and be good for like three months. And then then we're off to the races and you're fucked because uh, the start and stops what's killing me. But uh, one day I'll be able to. Start. Yeah, you're you're. Uh, but uh, yeah, I if, if I if I'm the only one that's preventing you from uh, from getting back to a healthy uh, size, uh, I don't know what to tell you, because. You, you fucked up telling me because I will just submarine your ass every day of the week. <laughs> uh, oh, this is brutal. I'll just I'll just send you I'll just go to Albertsons. I mean Albertsons Publix, and uh, I'll just take pictures of food on the shelf and pretend like that's what I'm eating today and just fuck with you. I don't care. I I, I like uh, I like the idea of you being the fattest one of the group. So uh, I will just I will encourage that as much as possible. <laughs> That, that's not right. That's just not right at yeah. all. I, w- what I think everyone needs at this point is like maybe not for, obviously you're on the road right now and I doubt that you've uh, taken a, a curiosity step on a scale lately, but maybe for the next episode of You Fat Pig, uh, we can get a weigh in. <laughs> uh, we should, we should be. Maybe that'll be the real reality. And, and honestly, I think like since we uh, do encourage fat shaming of each other on this, uh, that uh, maybe this calling this uh, this show you fat pig would help you lose weight. I don't know. I mean, uh, nothing else has this time around. <laughs> no, I don't know what it is. I cannot get going. Yeah. Well. Uh, well. Yeah. I'm gonna predict that you are at an all time high. If you're tearing your jean, your favorite jeans that you be. that you've been wearing through thick and thin, and you probably wore the last time you were like at your all-time high that you've got to be right. at a new all-time high to have ripped the jeans i mean i gotta be There's, i i feel like it yeah. yeah this is good this is i would say this is a sign but i don't know what it's a sign for <laughs> i think it's a sign yeah, exactly. i think this is just the beginning of the end of you i think i <laughs> I think there's no coming back go. from this. <laughs> I th- I think uh I think once you cross the 280 barrier, 300 is like <laughs> is like is like an easy downhill coast for you at that point. <laughs> uh, see, my brother thinks it's that cuz I live in Georgia. I hate living here. There's nothing to do. He's like, "Oh, you guys are just you're depressed, you're lazy." And that's his thought process. He's like, "If you lived in New York, you would you would be in shape. I was like, no, I'd be eating pizza for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Like, that's true. You know, unless you were walk, unless you lived in the city and you were walking from your home to right. work and every and to the everywhere you went, and at least got like that all that uh walking in. Yeah, no, it it would be even worse. You you lived up there. I mean, the places are open right. like twenty four hours and stuff. So you right. Yeah, right. like at least there's like some restrictions on you misbehaving in Atlanta. I mean, some restrictions. <laughs> like, there's no restaurants open past like nine or ten, right? Nine, right? Yeah, yeah. Usually nine or ten. And and like, yeah. So I mean, come on. You you tell me, you can't. If the option is to, you could get any type of food that you in New York, you get any type of food in the world, whether it's Korean barbecue or uh, right, or sushi or pizza or whatever. 24 hours a day in New York City. It's all there. I mean, 
yeah. post, post pandemic, it might be a little different, but, but I mean, in theory, they're, they're back. So they, yeah, no way hey. you'd be, you'd be three fifty right now in New York. Probably. Probably. Yeah. Yeah. Bad. This is, I mean, <laughs> I mean, I love it. This was, this was great. I, I love being able to call you a fat pig, but to be honest, it's a little shameful. You gotta, you gotta get your acting gear. I don't know. It's a little shameful. <laughs> now you're shaming me, or not in that way. Like I mean, now you're making it like you're better than me. Well, not that you're better than me. Listen, I don't have kids. I don't have to live to like see them like have wonderful lives or something like that. You're, <laughs> you're like, listen, you're over. The, you're on the wrong side of forty now, okay? And now you're on the wrong side of two seventy. I think you can't be both. I just don't think you can be both. All right. Oh, <laughs> uh, all right. Yeah, next week. I'll start next week. Who's calling you? Or is that me? Oh, spam risk. I'm getting fucking spam risk calls. Oh, we should answer it. No, I don't. I don't know how to merge it uh, right now. Um, you could have messed it. I'm gonna give them the button. Oh. Uh, yeah, right, I got nothing else. I feel. I feel gross. I, I mean, feel like I have to go. That He's was a chicken wrap. I got. That was a lot. Listen, I, I mean, you're a fat pig. That's that's one, two, and three on the list of things I got to tell you. And four is ne- never again are we doing this on the road trip. You let you kept me hanging. You dragged it along. An hour before, I'm like getting ready to do this. You set a time. We make a time. Whatever. For all the rigmarole till forty minutes later. That. 40 minutes right. you oh, were we already heard it. Well, that's enough already. You we, were, we heard it already. Yeah, but it goes back to you being a fat pig. The reason I was waiting oh. 40 minutes is because you were shopping for food at a gas station for 40 fucking minutes. You <laughs> fat pig. <laughs> uh, all right, I'm done. I'm done with you. I'm over this. Mm-hmm. I, I don't want to be fat shamed anymore. Oh, wait, you're done with me. You're done with me. I'm done with you. All right, buddy. Goodbye. Uh, uh, Goodbye. Go, go eat something. Goodbye. It's been five minutes. Eat something. Goodbye. <laughs>